Hey everyone, welcome to your workout. We're gonna do a little bit of a parasetter balancing on the knees workout. Um, this is more used today for the cushion aspect for this workout, but it can be used for many other things. Just today I'm gonna to focus on some exercises that you do on your knees. Uh, right now I'm down on my knee. I don't really have a problem, but a lot of people might have problem sitting there for a few exercises. Um, anyway, this is your parasetter. I also have a set of the minis, which are you know, the same thing like the parasetter, just cut in, in half or a third or a quarter of it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Set it down with the groove side facing up and you're gonna get, get on your knees. You can either have your feet tucked under or pressed into the floor. And we're gonna start with some chest expansion exercises. So lifting up and we're just gonna hinge back. I'm using a set of weights we're gonna incorporate some of the arm exercises. So just now you're getting your body warmed up into a thigh stretch. You can also tuck your feet under and just do some pulses here. Let's do 10 of these. I'm almost at 10. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Then as we're bending or leaning down a little bit more, we're going to push down with the arms. So you see that my abs are doing a little bit of the pulling in and activation. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's definitely a workout. You're just putting a lot of that Emphasis on the on the quads and in your core to lower and lift. Now you can incorporate more of the chest opener. That's two, three, four, five. Again, you can tuck your toes if that's more comfortable for you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stick the arms out. And then you can do your cactus arms. So you can pull the arms in and out. One, two, you're feeling your quads, getting a nice stretch and workout here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, let's hinge it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can set down your weights and we'll get into the thigh stretch without the, without the weights. So there's going to be a little bit of a Reaching here, reaching back for your heel. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go back with both hands, similar to the um, yoga camel and since we're a little bit of a distance from the floor you're feeling that extra extension stretch in your quads one two you can open the arms or keep them up in front three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, doggies are lifting up my yoga mat. Guys, you're gonna have to get out from under there. Next thing is the head is gonna come into the picture here. So we will lower and lift upper body down towards the mat. You can have your elbows up, chest crossed, whatever, whatever you feel works for you. So you're gonna come down Lift up for one, two, three, four, 
three. You're folding here, you're pulling in the abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's target one side to the other. So you're gonna come down with an elbow, one, and switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Similarly, we're gonna do a mermaid stretch. I'm gonna turn the face for, uh, frontward, front, front of you. So you're gonna take your leg, stick it out. One leg is extended, one leg is on top of the parasiter, and you're gonna reach into your mermaid, looking up or in alignment with the arm above you, just reach if you want to cross one arm underneath. You can. Let's go for one more on the same side. Nice side body extension, stretch, and come up. Let's go. Feeling this all in my quads. Switching the legs and reach. Oh, that's my lower back cracking and stretching. Folding here, if you wanna extend the opposite arm too, you can to get a little opposition stretch. Come back up and reach down again. Good, that feels good on my lower back. My dogs are going crazy. Hey, guys, can I use my mat please? Let's go ahead and do an elephant stretch. So this is great for the calf muscles um, and the hamstrings. Feet are gonna go on top of the, the center groove. And then you come into your elephant stretch. So you're, you have this two inch distance to the floor and you push forward with your stretch. So this is more of the elephant stretch like you could do on the reformer try to reach forward maybe walk back a couple of steps trying to balance or just hold still and breathe into it for for a few breaths then we're going to lift up with one heel at a time so alternating heels one two three or you can come in closer with your arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna step off with one foot and put it behind the other leg. So then I really deepen the stretch on the foot that's on top and that leg. So I'm getting a deep, deep stretch in the leg that's high up. Holding there for several seconds, then step back on with the opposite foot and cross the opposite leg behind. You'll feel a really good stretch in that hamstring all down this back leg. Breathe into it. Then we can go into some calf raises you can use a prop. I have a, a uh, thing for balance in front of me. So you can do some raises or you can try to stand up high and balance even putting your hands out front and do your calf raises. If you do about 100 of these, your calves will be nice and uh, sore tomorrow. So try to do some while balancing, you can alternate your stepping like you're on top of a stair. I don't have stairs in my house, so I can use this. 
So that's gonna be it for your Parasetter workout today. We kept it just at 10 minutes. So if you wanna order one or if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. Um, and thanks again for joining me and we'll catch up soon, bye.